Let's talk about Paget's disease of bone. This is also referred to as osteitis deformans. This is due to an imbalance between osteoclast and osteoblast function. Normally, bones undergo a continuous process of remodeling. Osteoclasts resorb bone, while osteoblasts lay down bone. PTH is a hormone that is secreted by the parathyroid gland. It stimulates osteoblast. Osteoblasts then go and stimulate osteoclasts. Typically, osteoclasts do not work without the permission of osteoblasts. However, in Paget's disease of bone, osteoclasts go crazy and begin to resorb bone without the permission of osteoblasts. This increased osteoclastic activity leads to rapid bone remodeling and poor structure of the affected bone. This disease is usually seen in late adulthood. Approximate age is about 60. Additionally, it is more common in men than women. The etiology of this disease is unknown. This disease most often involves the skull, the lumbar vertebrae, the pelvis, and the femur. There are three phases to this disease. Osteoclastic, mixed, osteoblastic. The first phase is also called the lytic phase. This is when the osteoclasts are continue to resorb bone, that this increased resorption of bone results in weak bones. The third phase is called the sclerotic phase because osteoblast is laying down as much bone as possible, but it's not laid down with a balance of the osteoclast. The mixed phase is when osteoblasts compensate by laying down bone in a rapid, disorganized fashion. The end result is thick sclerotic bone that fractures easily. The reason that these bones may break or fracture is because they have an impaired integrity and they are unable to withstand the physical strain and pressure from even normal activities. Histology reveals a mosaic pattern of lamellar bone. This is because the osteoblast try to protect the bone and hence they lay down as much bone as possible. However, it's doing it in a rush so it doesn't do a good job and it results in an impaired integrity and so increased risk of fractures. The clinical features of Paget's disease involves bone pain. This is due to microfractures of bone. Increased hat size because the skull is commonly affected, the result of this disease is thick sclerotic bone, you see increased hat size. Lion-like facies. Facial bones become thick and sclerotic, and so the face appears like lion. As you can see, there is the normal skull and versus a, an individual with Paget disease. Additionally, there is elevated alkaline phosphatase. Osteoclasts have alkaline phosphatase, which is an enzyme, to create an alkaline environment so that they can mineralize the bone. The treatment for this disease includes calcium and vitamin D supplementation, calcitonin, which is like an anti-PTH. It does the opposite of what PTH would normally do. PTH normally causes the osteoclast to resorb bone. Calcitonin actually inhibits the osteoclast from resorbing bone. So if you inhibit the osteoclast, you can then avoid the resorption that occurs in this disorder. Bisphosphonates result in apoptose of the osteoclast, inhibiting the osteoclast in this disorder. NSAIDs and acetaminophen can be used for pain management. Complications of this disorder include high output cardiac failure. This is due to the remodeling of the bone that results in formation of AV shunts. So the heart will have to push through these AV shunts, resulting in high output heart failure. Another complication of this disorder is osteosarcoma, which is a malignant tumor of osteoblasts. So osteoblasts produce a ton of bone, and if they mutate, it results in this malignant tumor. So in summary, Paget disease of bone is a disorder with a lot of bone remodeling. This bone is thick, sclerotic, and fractures easily.